distribution management. We all know the function of optimizing the distribution networks to achieve the effective and efficient flow of personnel, equipment and material to meet the combatant commander's requirements. Financial institutions and non-traditional players are looking for opportunities to invade this space or to redefine it through disruptive innovation. In this lesson, we will explain the need of distribution management in banks, identify the roles of various participants of the distribution channel system, and discuss channel selection and channel management. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain the need for distribution management in banks, discuss the participants in the channel system, define channel selection and channel management and explain the monitoring channel partner. Distribution management plays a central role in the customer relationship process. The wide statistics shows that many banks have made greater progress in improving their customer experiences, particularly in the areas of customer data and segmentation, leveraging data to deliver a better product mix, creating a distinct brand image, and improving service operations. Now the bank's challenge is to improve and integrate their multiple distribution channels to consistently deliver an enhanced experience and foster better customer relationships. As the primary means of customer service and sales interaction, distribution channels play a central role in the customer relationship process which fuels growth. For most banks, the branch presently dominates the distribution approach while other methods of interaction such as direct channels and alternative face-to-face -face, F2F outlets are less significant and not well integrated. But this situation appears to be changing rapidly. Researchers have identified six converging market dynamics which are creating an inflection point in the evolution of retail channels for banks. Customer demographics are shifting, making Generation Y and ethnic groups vitally important. New technologies are gaining widespread adoption, allowing customer relationship management to become channel independent. Without proper and efficient distribution channel, the banks couldn't cope up with the expectations of the economy. Channel here means a customer contact point or a medium through which the banks or any other business firm and the customer interact. And the communication here is a two-way and not one-way communication such as television advertising. Over the past 30 years, banks have invested heavily in the development of non-branch distribution channels including ATMs, the internet, call centers and more recently wireless technologies. The underlying assumption behind the alternative channel investment was that banks could reduce the cost to serve customers as transactions once consummated in the branch were migrated to lower cost sources of fulfillment. Banks further justified alternative channel development by hypothesizing that the availability of more channels would attract new customers and sources of revenue. Branch office traditional brick and mortar channel was the first channel offered by banks and many times the impressively designed building is confused with the bank institution image. The automatic teller machine ATM was one of the first remote channels to bring customers out of branch offices offering beyond the branch offices time convenient operations, call center was also one of the first remote channels offered to customers. PC home banking channel was the precursor of internet banking. Internet banking is the most stylish adoption in recent channel management. Web phone or phone banking channel has been increasing its penetration with the high adoption of wireless phone. A channel of distribution comprises a set of institutions which perform all of the activities utilized to move a product and its title from production to consumption. 
channel management is receiving an increasing amount of attention as organizations realize that selecting the most appropriate distribution channels and motivating channel partners effectively are key issues in selling profitably through third parties. The financial services industry has been facing a dynamic change in channel offering opportunities as a result of an increasing number of new channels, a change in customers' preferences and the redefinition of traditional roles. Market segmentation and the challenge of defining lucrative customer niches related to ideal channel utilization. The increasing customization of products and services and its consequences in channel customization and customer interaction. The evolving of new channels such as internet banking and web phone and their needs of platform integration and aligned channel development. The continuing cost conscious attitude that is driving banks to rethink their channel initiatives and innovation investments that will impact potential bank development and growth. The proliferation of new channels has created major challenges for the management of the banks in regard to the distribution channel. The banks must adapt quickly to survive and recognize the need for a new customer relationship model. Channel management is a process by which a producer or supplier directs marketing activity by involving and motivating the entities comprising its channel of distribution. The following technologies are the key to transforming the customer experience and driving sales productivity. Banks need to implement a service-oriented architecture to integrate disparate channels and create an agile infrastructure where back-end systems can be exposed to new services and channels as they emerge or evolve. Banks require business intelligence solutions to integrate and analyze their customer data and report on that information to make better informed decisions. CRM solutions should be fully integrated with the day-to-day -day work environment of frontline staff and make it easy to translate customer insight and centralized marketing campaigns into successful customer interactions. A significant factor in building lasting customer relationship is the ability to communicate with customers in the way they prefer and in a way that is most appropriate to the stage of the sales cycle. In this context, mobile technologies will be an essential tool for the advisory staff who operate remotely and need full access to customer and product information in a secure and protected manner. A new generation of ATMs makes it possible to fully automate cash transactions in the branch and eliminate the role of the teller. Innovative technology is seen as essential to develop an integrated channel and customer proposition. The changing dynamics of the marketplace is bound to increase the significance of the channel. Greater availability of comparable products has diminished the advantage provided by product differentiation. Channel partners have the power to make or break your business. To build a more profitable and loyal indirect channel, need a partner relationship management solution that helps to strengthen channel partnerships and optimize channel operations. Product proliferation and mass customization have increased the demand for a more responsive and efficient delivery mechanism, that is, the channel. The most obvious function of providing the logistics support to get the company's product to the end customer. It is important to evaluate that how much channels are yielding profits. There are four aspects that need to be critically evaluated to identify the avenues to increase market share. The viability of the channel is based on the premise that it is handling a range of products that share the logistics and other cost, implying that there will be multiple principles. The servicing performance levels of channel members need to be monitored regularly. It is obvious that the channel partner should get adequate returns for him to be interested in your business. However, it is also likely that the channel is making more than adequate income and compromising on the efforts required to develop or expand markets. Support provided by the company in the form of local sales promotion, transport subsidy, 
visit by sales staff etc is also critical in getting the best out of the channel. Now let us check if you have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Distribution management means a customer contact point or a medium through which the banks and the customer interact. Right or wrong? Wrong. It has been widely accepted that the technology enables the transformation of the customer experience. Right or wrong? Right. The changing dynamics of the marketplace is bound to increase the significance of the channel. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Distribution management plays a central role in the customer relationship process. The wide statistics shows that many banks have made great progress in improving their customer experiences, particularly in the areas of customer data and segmentation, leveraging data to deliver a better product mix, creating a distinct brand image, and improving service operations. Now the bank's challenge is to improve and integrate their multiple distribution channels to consistently deliver an enhanced experience and foster better customer relationships. Channel means a customer contact point or a medium through which the banks or any other business firm and the customers interact. And the communication here is two-way and not one-way communication such as television advertising. A channel of distribution comprises a set of institutions which perform all of the activities utilized to move a product and its title from production to consumption. Channel management is receiving an increasing amount of attention as organizations realize that selecting the most appropriate distribution channels and motivating channel partners effectively are key issues in selling profitably through third parties. Channel management is a process by which a producer or supplier directs marketing activity by involving and motivating the entities comprising its channel of distribution. The changing dynamics of the marketplace is bound to increase the significance of the channel. Greater availability of comparable products has diminished the advantage provided by product differentiation. Channel partners have the power to make or break your business. 